get up. Go fucking get up. Please stop. Please stop. Okay, so I was gonna wait for my new microphone to come in to record this, but I could not hold up any longer. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this now so we can get it out of the way and then maybe do a follow-up video when the new mic comes in. So, this is the Last of Us 2 review. It's going to be very straightforward, very to the point. Uh, you will probably see gameplay in the background if there's not already. But I'm going to break this down into three different parts. Okay. Um, we're going to break this down, three different parts. We're going to break it down. One is graphics. Okay. Now, I can easily tie that into graphics slash gameplay but I want to break it down into three parts of graphics number two gameplay slash accessibility options and then last but not least the story slash the ending to the game that is what we're gonna do that's how we're gonna break this down so, The Last of Us 2 right now is getting uh, royally shit on by fans. Now, it's not getting as shit on as it was the first couple of days that the game came out. It's not getting as shit on when the leaks came out. I'll even probably put up some of my tweets here where it's me defending Naughty Dog and me defending the game before the game even comes out because I'm, I'm very optimistic right I'm like very optimistic about stuff especially shit like this so when the game first came to uh, you know be leaked and everybody's talking about how trash the game's gonna be blah blah blah, blah I'm like in my head it can't be that fucking bad it cannot be that bad so here I am on Twitter just defending the game to the to the end of time. Like, oh my god. You people are fucking pathetic. The game ain't even come out yet. Give the game a chance. So on and so forth. And then the game finally releases. I'm hype as hell. I'm playing. I don't think I didn't start uh, I didn't start playing until I want to say around 3, 3 p.m. that Friday, like super early. And then I play like the first, I want to say I played, what, the first two hours of the game exactly, the first like two hours, 15 minutes of the game. And uh, we're just going to get into it. So I was wrong about Last of Us 2. I wanted to be optimistic about it, as I said kept a positive mind throughout the whole time the whole four weeks this thing was 
out or however many weeks since the the freaking leaks came about. And I was defending it to the end of time, as I said. And here I am now, a week after the game's official release, and I'm here to tell you that I was wrong. In a multitude of different ways. Everything that was leaked obviously turned out to be true. I mean, if it's leaked, if it's like leaked footage of the game, like leaked images of the game, it's obviously going to be true. And everything pretty much turned out to be true about Last of Us 2. Part of me felt like a dumbass, but the other part of me felt absolutely shocked at the way the story progressed. And of course, the way the game ended. And, if, and last but not least, how Joel died, the way Joel died. Let's just get into it. So, graphically, this game is absolutely fantastic. Probably one of the best looking games, if not the best looking game on the PlayStation exclusively. Now, obviously, you you, you know, have your Spider-Mans, right? Spider-Man, you know, uh, apparently, like, Last of Us destroyed Spider-Man sales already, so, uh, Spider-Man got put on the back burner when it came to that, but graphically, this game is great. And when, I mean graphic, they went graphic. Okay, we're, 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 like, talking about maybe a little bit too realistic, but me, for some reason... I like to nitpick. If I'm playing a game, right, that involves, you know, like, shooting, right? Especially a game that's rated in Fort Mature, and a, and a game that involves zombies and shit, but also people. Like, I expect, like, fucking the, the most realistic thing ever. When it comes to, like, shooting mechanics and, like, physics and all that. And Last of Us 2 knocked it out of the park. I mean, the the game was brutal. The game was brutal. Uh, when when you shot somebody in the fucking face with, let's say, like a, a shotgun, half the fucking face came off, right? Dude, the, the detail, the attention to detail in this game is fantastic. You know, little 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 small things that just makes the game a little better than what it is. Graphically, this game is absolutely fantastic. Um, lighting is great. I mean, there were some sequences where lighting was, was I'm like, holy shit. The lighting is fucking great. Not the best in the world, but probably that better than Red Dead Redemption 2 lighting because the lighting in that game was, ooh, ooh, it was on par. But, Graphically, this is probably one of the best looking PlayStation games ever. Unfortunately, that is probably the only positive to come out of this entire game. No, actually, no, I'm not lying. There are positives, but mainly this is where, you know, we start to uh, break down the gameplay and then the story. So gameplay, very similar to the first game. Very similar to the first game with a couple added mechanics. Where they added the dodge mechanic, right? The dodge mechanic comes into play when like your enemy just wants to fucking rumble you out of nowhere. You can dodge him and then attack with your switchblade, or if you play as Abby, you could, you know, just knock somebody the fuck out, right? Um, they also added a <clears throat> excuse me. They also added a a prone mechanic, which I use like a lot. So prone and stealth, I I use those features a lot, like prone under a truck, uh, you know, silencing somebody from underneath, or just prone under a truck just to hide from enemies. But I also like the fact that when you're caught, you get pulled out of prone position from under the truck, and then they go to attack you. You know, just little small details like that. Gameplay for the most part, I didn't get any bugs or glitches with this game. This game. Is very well um, 
programmed for what I play. Not one bug, not one glitch. Gameplay was fine. Um, repetitive at times. The stealth, I gotta say, the stealth got a little bit repetitive towards the end of the game. Obviously, the brutal stealth is gonna be so much fun for, for like, for like the first couple chapters but then when you get to like later chapters and stuff it kind of gets boring repetitive you know i would have liked to see a little bit more of option so you know do like a stealth attack or like a qte instead of just pressing square because i think it got to a point where i knew what button to press when something happened and that button was square. So immediately after I grabbed somebody and like stop my like, okay, I know it's square every freaking time. When somebody tries to grab me from behind, I know it's square every freaking time. And like the I like the um and like it actually f flowed very smoothly for what it was. Uh also when you interacted like the cutscenes and uh stuff, so if they're telling you to go to like a certain objective, the cutscenes blended in beautifully. It's like you couldn't even notice that it just went into a cutscene. Like, but the the uh, way they blended in the gameplay with the cutscenes, fantastic. Again, it's like you didn't even know you you didn't even know that a cutscene was happening because that's how smooth it was. You didn't even realize it. Um, what else? What else can we say about? gameplay um again the weapons i mean there's not many weapons in the game you get like an automatic weapon towards the end of the game when you go to hunt down abby at, at the at the freaking hotel i think it's a silence smg um again graphically uh the the uh gunplay was good uh the way you i I don't know how to word this. The uh, way you, I, I guess you shoot enemy. Like, the gunfight, the gunplay was realistic. That, like, that is what I'll say on that. Um, I'm, at this point, I'm really trying to stretch this because we're going to get to the good parts of the video very fucking soon. In fact, we're going to get there right now with, uh, with this story. So on to the story. This is a story-based game, correct? So I'm gonna assume everybody here played The Last of Us One. Okay, everybody listening and watching. Hopefully, you're still watching. So, so the people who played the first game, right? Let me ask you this question: Do you think after the ending to the first game, we needed the sequel? Because this game is just going is 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 really proven one thing that the first Last of Us did not need a sequel, and this is where we're going to transition over into kind of rant mode, and I'm kind of going to build it up before I really just start spewing bullshit. Well, not bullshit, but before I just start spewing. So the two main characters, right, Ellie and Joel. Right, those are your main characters, right? From, from the first game. So, <sighs> I'm trying to find a way to word this. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to find a way to word this without pissing myself off. Okay, so let me, let me. Hmm. It's coming. Trust me. Trust me. It's coming. It's freaking coming. So. Ellie and Joel are your two main characters. In this game, when the game got revealed in 2016, it uh, showed Ellie with a new character named Dina, right? Now, obviously, if you play the game, they are together. Now, people had a fucking problem with this, and this is where we're just gonna go in a rant or uh, rant, rant, uh, rant tantor for a little bit. People had a problem with this, and I want to know why. Why did you have a problem with that? with Ellie and Dina being together. Is that really, like in 2016, was that really the biggest issue now? 
Now, fast forward and four years later to the actual game, was that really the biggest issue? If that was your fucking issue, one, holy shit, you need, you are a straight loser. You are a straight bum, straight goon. If that was your reason for, quote, hating the game, right? And then, and then fast forward, right, to now, where the media is just, holy shit. If you didn't like Last of Us Part 2, you're homophobic, you're transphobic, you're a bigot, you're an incel, you hate women. Are you fucking kidding me? That is beyond bullshit. You know how many games would lead female role? And people absolutely love the game. I, I mean, we, seriously. I think I can go the next 30 minutes just naming games off the top of my head with female lead. Tomb Raider. Lara Croft. Right? Horizon Zero Dawn. Last of Us. I'm sorry. What? Last of Us 2. Obviously. Um. It's not what I was going to say, though. Life is Strange. Double May Cry. I mean, seriously, I can go all day by, by just throwing games out there with female lead roles. That is not why people do not like Last of Us 2. The majority, the majority opinion is that people do not like Last of Us 2 because of the story. But the media will try to, you know, twist it and then virtue signal and put the and, you know, throw it back at the fans. That's what they do. That's what these shills do. They they take something, they twist it around, and then they throw it back at you. We hate Last of Us 2 because of Abby. Because of how strong she was. Because of, because of, uh, because of Ellie and Dina's relationship. That's not why we hated the game. And now, perfect. this perfectly transitions to the story. Right, so we all know what happens two hours into the game. Joel gets fucking glimmed. He gets glimmed by who I would like to refer to as Brock Lesnar, uh, the feminine version of Brock Lesnar. If that offended you, oh well, it's a joke. So Brock Lesnar takes his golf club, right? And, 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 and well, well, well for, first off, can we talk about how Joel saves her life, right? Right? I'm going to play you a clip of my reaction of Joel's parenting. Play. Okay, now you saw it, right? So Joel saves Abby's life. So now I'm gonna play you another clip of what I think Naughty Dog thought <clears throat> was a quote cool planting of the seed type deal. Well, Now, as you see, Abby's contemplating life for some reason. She's like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is the motherfucker that killed my dad. This is... This is Joel. This is Joel. This is... This has to be him. This has to be him. And that is the problem with this game. 
that is the problem with this game to me. This game did not explain well enough how Abby knew who Joel was, who he looked like, and it, Joel just so happened to stumble across her, save her life, and then all of a sudden, the fucking light switch pops up in the head. Oh, wait, this is, this is Joel. This is the motherfucker I've been looking for. In, in not one part of the game, not one flashback of the game, even, even hinted at Abby, you know, searching for Joel, hunting this man down. Even no one, like, like, how does she know who Joel looked like? Don't you have to know what someone looks like before you go hunt him down? Right? Like, that's how it works. If I'm not mistaken. Or maybe I'm just stupid. But in my opinion, Naughty Dog did not explain well enough how Abby got to know what Joel looked like. Like, how the fuck did she even, you know, like, it, it, it's, it's still confusing to me. It's still confusing to me. And then for, and, and then another thing about this is the absolute fucking downgrade of their characters. I mean, they made Tommy and Joel in that moment like the two biggest goon idiots of all time. You mean to tell me you just walked into a stranger's house, right? Hide out, right? After, you know, just being, you know, absolutely stressed out by the, uh, the, uh, infected. You mean to tell me Tommy and Joel are dumb enough to give their fucking names? Right? I'm gonna play this clip now of Joel saying his name, and then I want you, I want you to look very closely at the two people sitting on the couch. I think it's uh, Manny and uh, and someone else. Look at their reaction. I'll, I'll, I'll zoom in even, and that's and that's a quote, another planting of the seed moment that I like to call it. That all of a sudden they know who the fuck this guy is, and like, oh, yep, th th this is our guy. Look, watch it. See, you, you see that shit? Naughty Dog thought they could get away with absolute fucking lazy writing. It's a lazy writing. So now, Joel's dead. Right? Joel's dead. So now we play as Ellie. Who is, who her number one mission is to hunt down motherfucking Abby. While killing everything, every fucking dog, every bird, every freaking hippopotamus in sight. Every clicker, every runner, in sight until we find Abby, right? So fast forward. Fast forward. We're going to fast forward a liar, right? To uh, Nora, right? At the hospital. Ellie believes that Abby is at the hospital, right? So she goes there. But instead of finding Abby, she finds Nora. And after chasing her down, and since obviously, you know, Ellie is immune, right? Nora isn't, so... Finally, after pinning her in the corner with nowhere to go, um... Ellie's just interrogating her, telling her, where's Abby, where's Abby, where's Abby? And then Nora's like, I'm not a rat. I'm not a rat on my friend, and then they let you actually do a QTE of you beat the shit out of Nora, but they only let you do it three times. And, and they didn't even show it. So, that was good. Right? So, now the story is a revenge plot, right? A freaking revenge plot. So, fast forward again to the theater where Ellie and Jesse and Dina currently reside. And then Tommy strolls about. Right? So, there's now a scene. Oh, actually, you what? Know Ooh. I'm actually going a, a little too far. So now we go to the aquarium, right? She finds the fucking aquarium. She steals a boat, right? She goes to the aquarium, right? She kills 
first off, first off, who the hell uses a PS Vita? Okay, you're real. That handheld is dead. That handheld was, oh, God, a failure. The PS Vita was an absolute failure. But, I'm sidetracking. So, this is also the the uh, part where she kills Mel's dog, I believe. I forgot. I forgot the dog's name, but Mel's dog gets fucking murked. Okay? Mel's dog gets absolutely destroyed by um, Ellie. And we are and we are already 24 minutes into this. This is crazy. I didn't expect to go a little this long, so, you know, just bear with me if you're still listening. So Mel's dog gets fucking murked, right? The dog gets murked. You find Owen and you find Mel. You don't, you don't find Abby. Right, and what we don't know is they added a little twist to Mel's death. So pretty much Ellie pulls out her map. She's like, Owen, come here. Mel, you come here. Right. Um, and pretty much tensions rose. Mel tried to go for the gun, I believe. Um, Owen got shot. And then Mel pulled out a switchblade. She tried to stab Ellie, but Ellie was like, mm -mm. put the knife right in the throat. So, this is the part where I feel like things were, were literally just going to have a bunch of quote, false finishes and, you know, like drag, dragged out storylines. And, and unfortunately, that is exactly what happened, starting with this. Because now I'm like, okay. This is supposed to be a, what, 20, 20 some hour game. I'm like, okay. So what the fuck is the second half of the game going to be? Or is this it? I don't freaking know. So Owen is pretty much dead. He's booing the fuck out. He's dead. Mel's dead. Ellie tries to get information from Owen on Abby's whereabouts. Doesn't get him because she just killed them both. And then... Surprise, surprise, Mel's pregnant. So, she just killed a freaking pregnant. Great. Now they're going to make the player feel bad, or attempt to make the player feel bad for killing Mel, because she was pregnant, which we did not know. Fast forward back to the theater. Abby somehow finds her freaking way in. Mercs Jesse. We're talking about bullet right through the fucking face. So, Jesse's gone. Sudden death, right? Right, Tommy gets a bow in his knee or his leg, and I swear to God, he got shot in the back of the freaking head. I thought Tommy was done for. And then, then they pull this bullshit. This is where I started to get pissed off. They make, then they make you play that max 10 hours of the game with Abby. What was Abby's life from her perspective, her point of view? Right? Abby's this loving and this caring person, right? Right? Which I think, you know, they they also failed on that. They tried to make you feel empathy. Every fucking aspect for Abby. And that's my problem. That is my problem. They tried to make you feel empathy for this girl. The same person who just murked Joel, and now you want her dead, they make you play as her for long amounts of time. And I don't get it. Now, in this one, they show Mel pregnant almost instantly. Instantly. Oh my, oh my God. What is this? What is this? I don't want to play as this. I do not want to play as Ad. That's like... Like Shepard killing Ghost and Rose, right? In Modern Warfare 2, and then them making you play a Shepard killing Price at the end of the game. Or uh Price and so capturing Shepard and then Shepard taking a knife out of his fucking chest, right? Or I'm sorry, Soap taking a knife out of his chest, missing the knife though, and then Shepard killing you anyway. This shit doesn't make sense, man. Eh. It truly does not make 
any fucking sense. Uh, I can't even put in the words how much it doesn't make sense. They, they tried to make you feel empathy for this fucking character. You know, a random ass character in the game, by the way. Like, nobody gives a flying fuck about the only the only thing Abby is good for is her death. It's her inevitable quote death, right? Right. So they make you players or along the way you meet this person named Lev. Now, people from her group called her Lily, but there's a story about how, you know, I we're not even gonna get into it because you all know the story of Lev by now. So fast forward to the ending. Right? So Abby and Lev eventually seek help, but you know, they get captured. They get captured and taken to this hotel. And now we get to play as a fucking Ellie again. I'm like, yes, thank God. This is the part of the game where I'm like, okay, we get the kill we get Abby, 100%. Let's fucking do this. Let's do this, right? Can't wait. Can't freaking wait. At least, at least we'll get the correct ending. At least we'll get some sort of, of like closure, right? right? Um, that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. When you get to the hotel, first of all, Abby's not there, right? You know, false finish number five million with, you know, this fucking game. When, um, when, um, uh, what the freak happened? When Ellie gets to the gets to the uh, city or the town, right? Abby was already captured, but along the way, I guess they tried to say the reason why Ellie didn't get there is, you know, she, she got caught in the trap and, you know, she fucking stabbed herself. So at that point, Abby's now bleeding out, or forget Ellie's bleeding out. I'm like, how the fuck is she not bleeding out? Right? Um, some dude, uh, two dudes walk up, right? One gets eaten by a fucking clicker, the other gets killed by Ellie, and then Ellie goes... To the hotel. Once she gets to the hotel, she clears out everybody, right? You're playing, you get to the hotel. She clears out everything, everybody. And once you get to the jail cell, she's not there. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? When are we going to get the ending to this game? Like, well, uh, now, at this point, I'm questioning whether or not we even want to capture this girl. So, so then we get all the way down to the fucking beach. Where there, there are multiple people, numerous people, right? Like, shrunk up, either dead or just super, super unconscious, right? So you find, you find freaking Abby. And what do you do? Now, this is what I found weird, right? You cut her down, right? You cut her down. I'm like, okay, we're cutting her down. And then Abby cuts a leg down. And then they go towards the boat. Where they will eventually, you know, escape and leave. And for some reason, Ellie's just following them. And then by the time they get to the boat, Ellie's like, you're not leaving. You're not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. The show goes on. Then, right? You like that part. You 100% like that part. I came up with that on my own. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, then Ellie tells Abby, mm -mm, can't let you leave. And then Abby's like, I'm not fighting you. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? I'm like, what is going on here? You mean to tell me you came all this fucking way, right? You left your fucking... Uh, wait, hold up. Hold up. I was getting ready to say you left your wife, but, you know, they weren't married. But you left your girl, right? With a kid, right? And she warned, she said, look, man, if you leave, by the time you get back, we won't be here. And... And we will get to that. We will get to that. Trust me, we will. 
So Abby's like, I'm not fighting you. And then Ellie's like, yes, you are. So then they get into a fucking, the, uh, you know, final boss. The, the, uh, the, the, uh, you know, final boss battle of sorts, right? Well, holy shit, it took me 10 years to get into that. But before we get into that, I want to flashback to when they made you play as Abby infiltrating Ellie's theater. Because this is what I didn't find smart at all. I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, they're trying to pull some butterfly effect shit here, bro. Because if I even try to attack Ellie here, I'm afraid that I'm a killer. And I don't want to do that. But, you know, fortunately for me, every time I went to go charge attack Ellie, she just came up and killed me instantly. I'm like, oh, okay. So, um, this isn't, um, that bad. But then when we got to the cutscene, where, you know, Ellie just just gets destroyed and then Dina comes around and then fucking Abby damn near kills Dina and then freaking Abby's like wait she's pregnant and then Abby's like good she said fucking good she was ready to slit this bitch's throat until Lev came out of nowhere she said don't don't do it don't do it don't do it so then they, you know, fast forward to, you know, them on their farm and shit. Ellie, Dana, you know, doing, uh, you know, their thing. And they reveal that Ellie has severe PTSD. And she has a, you know, a crazy attack in the farm. So, that reveals that. So, then we go to the end of the game, right? We go back to the beach. They're fighting the final boss fight. I'm like, oh shit. And I got my switchblade with me. So shit about to get real. We about to we about to cut bitches in this some bitch. Right? We about to mm -mm, but the slashing gas, right? So eventually the switchblade gets gets tossed out of the way, right? Tossed lost into the water. No more switch. I'm like, fuck. So how we gonna kill this girl now? We can just go and fucking beat her out of there because but look, look, man, I do not doubt Ellie, but goddamn, Abby is a, it's a big girl, man, big freaking girl, I'm like, Jesus Christ, I gotta fist fight this now, so then, so then we get it down to the freaking water, I'm like, oh, shit, so we're, 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 we're like hammering on Abby, we're just hammering, hammer, hammer, right, and then she bites all, not one, but two of Ellie's fingers. I'm like, holy shit. She is ruthless. So then she gets it down in the water. I'm like, okay. And they put you in a, I don't know what's it, a QTE, a sequence, right? Where you got a mash square. I'm like, oh shit, we're choking this bitch. We're joking this bitch now. Uh, she's freaking, you know, fighting at first, but, but you know, eventually she gets her underneath the water enough so that her head is fully underwater. Wow, so he's choking. And I'll even throw up a couple screenshots there. Obviously, um, I think you probably look at that screenshot the whole time, but whew, I went into photo mode to capture a shit ton of visuals and, uh, you know, fantastic visuals, by the way. Um, So she has her in the water. She's just choking her, choking her, choking her, right? I'm like, oh shit, yes, yes, yes. We're about to kill this. Oh, yes, let's get it. Revenge for Joel. This is fantastic. And then she let, and then she has a little uh, uh, flashback in the head of Joel playing the guitar. And then for some reason, that triggered her, right, into saving Abby. She just let her go. She saved her fucking life. And then she just said, "Go, we'll run along." So she she traveled. All this, she left everything to go to Santa Barbara to go hunt down Abby, get Abby into a position where she can die and you don't kill her? So I feel like we just wasted the last four hours of this game f for what? For what? Now, people, people want to make up excuses talking about, oh, well, um, 
Well, uh, she had a change in heart. I'm like, change, change in heart? I'm like, sir, if someone kills you, you're fucking... It's... Look, man. Look, man. If someone kills you, you're pops, right? Right? And then you hunted the person down. Found them. Would you let them go? Would you kill them? I think most people's answer was would be that they would kill them. So I don't know what made Naughty Dog, Neil Cuckman come up with that shit ending. But someone came up with it and someone thought it was a good idea. Somebody thought it was a good idea for that ending. And and the even the even, you know, most messed up part about this is that they had flashbacks of like Joel revealing to Ellie what the fuck happened. And then once he reveals what happened, Ellie's like, You should have let me die. I could have saved millions of people. And that's when their relationship kind of started deteriorating. And the last the last thing we see technically before uh, you know, of Joel and Ellie is Joel and Ellie on the uh on the little patio way, and them kind of wanting to make like them kind of wanting to make up, you know, start over, right? Ellie slowly starting to build that relationship back up with Joel, right? And then I think way before that they show they um they uh show Joel breaking up an altercation with her and Seth, you know, the dude from way earlier into the game that Ellie hates. And a lot of people made a comparison. Wow, she she must rather get more revenge on on uh, you know, Seth, right? She had more hate for, you know, Seth than she had for fucking Abby apparently. Cuz she did not like this guy. She wouldn't even look at him. He apologized. She said, "Yep." Yep, fuck it, whatever. Abby kills Joel. Ah, nah, fuck it, dude. Yeah, look, look, you're good. You're good people, Abby. Get out of here. Get out of here. Are you fucking kidding me? Seriously. This story was absolutely fucking garbage. Especially at the second half of the game. First half of the game with Ellie, I thought was okay. I'm like, okay, as long as I get to play Ellie the whole game, we get to this revenge plot, you know, with these long drawn out fucking cutscenes, whatever. Then they drag it the fuck out towards the end. They dragged it out. They dragged it out. And then every excuse in the book starts coming, defending this ending of the game. How the fuck? How could you defend that? How could you defend that? We all knew what the plot was after Joel died. Revenge plot. A fucking toddler can guess that. A toddler can also guess that the ending to this fucking game in this story is garbage. It's trash. It's... Uh, man, the way they handled Joel, the way they had Joel act at the beginning... And Tommy act at the beginning, giving out their names. They're like, hi, my name's Joel. Hi, my name's Tommy. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? You like that too. You like that one. Anyway, what the what the fuck? The story doesn't make sense. Right? Because everything that happened after Joel died doesn't fucking justify the way he died. Now, obviously, a lot of people were like, okay, Joel, listen, he's gonna die in some way, right? But you could've gave him, like, a hero's death. I mean, obviously, he didn't die like no bitch. He said, yo, man, do what you gotta do. Even Joel was like, who the fuck is Abby? Who are you? Joel didn't even know who the fuck he was. So how did fucking Abby know who Joel was? I'm still not getting over that. I, I I still don't get it. Can someone please in the comments who's ever watching this, please explain to me.
Because I don't get it. And the ending made everything 40 times worse. You let Abby go. You let Abby go. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. They, they, they did everything in their power to make you feel bad for the things that Ellie did. And then try to make you feel empathetic, feel sympathy for Abby. You know. Ellie killed the dogs. What the fuck is going on? Played with the dogs. You are my honey bun, sugar plum, pumpy umby umpkin. You're my sweetie pie. You're my cupcake gumdrop, snickums, bookums. You're the apple of my eye, and I love you so. What the fuck is going on? I don't get it. <sighs> I don't know what to say. The story sucked. Last of Us 2 is the biggest disappointment in 2020 in terms of games to be released. Biggest disappointment. Not the worst game in 2020. But I would say most disappointing game of 2020 because due to the story and... um. Due to all of the uh, agendas put into the game, the political agendas. Okay. Can we stop, like, enforcing these political agendas in our games? Because it turns out they could ruin your fucking game. In my opinion, this story sucked. This game didn't completely suck. The story was fucking trash. The ending was trash. The, uh... The, it just wasn't, they just didn't do a good enough job to tell the story between, between Ellie getting revenge and making you try to feel empathy for fucking Abby. This is going 45 minutes. I'm done. Last of Us Part 2, if I were to rate it out of 10, this is getting a fucking 5 out of 10. This is a 5 out of 10 game, and they're fucking lucky. They're lucky, because I could easily go fucking negative 5 and a half with this game. It was a 5 out of 10. Last of Us 2. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. This is the first review I've done, so hopefully it's going good. We definitely won't be going 46 fucking minutes. We're definitely going to condense this shit down a lot. The next time we do some type of fucking review. Not sure, but story didn't make sense. Neil Cuckman, fuck you. Um, media, fuck you. You're you're a bunch of goons for uh, calling out fans on their uh, supposed bigotry here. Go fuck yourself, please. Till next time, guys. Peace. Fuck off, naughty dog.